Thanks for dropping back for the next in the FPV series, which, if you hadn't guessed, is a Skywalker 1900. So, decided to start on this model with the wings. Don't ask us why. That's just where I decided to start. And I decided on a one piece wing. So, stuck the two halves of the wings together, installed the servos and the flaps. And that's what you're seeing there in the shot right now. After that, I went on to the horizontal stabiliser. Did pretty much the same with that. Installed the elevator, uh, taped hinges, and there's the uh, lower part of the elevator, or the horizontal stabiliser with the elevator, I should say. And then decided to put some cooling in with my old um, plastic spoon trick. This area here has a scoop, an air scoop either side, made with plastic spoons. That will take cool air in the area where the ESC and the uh, BEC are located. Next I decided about the access panel and uh, that's what I decided on right there. It's hinged and uh, a couple of locks on it. That's the same shot with the access panel open because once the fuselage halves are together of course it's pretty difficult to get at anything. So. Uh, after that, sorted the rudder on the tail and put the servo mounting uh, bracket onto it, which incidentally weren't part of the kit, it's just something I wanted to do to make life easier. There's a shot of the fuselage. I've added a piece of uh, glass fibre tubing to strengthen that. That's a closer shot of the tail. You can see the glass fibre tube. And now the uh, servos are also installed in there. They were on the boom. Then I went ahead and um, put in the UHF dipole, which you can see just poking out the top a wee bit. That runs along the boom and into the compartment and is ready there to plug into the open LRS UHF receiver. Next I started thinking about where things are going to go. It's near PM 2.6 on this, so that was the position I'd kind of thought I would put things. And as it happens, that's where they ended up to. So. There's a shot of the fuselage with the first few bits and pieces in position. So I just kept gradually adding stuff. Um, there now you see the speed controller and the BC. The telemetry transmitters in there. The antenna for the telemetry transmitters in there. The bandpass filter is fitted to the open LRS UHF receiver. I think the closer shot comes up with that in a moment. Yeah, there it is. I've added the uh, video transmitter there too. That's just uh, in the shot, so that's kind of a shot. With the battery in, I put a bulkhead in to stop the battery going back too far. I really wanted to get the uh, airframe into a place where I could muck it up for testing the centre of gravity. So there, the uh, two halves of the fuselage being stuck together, and that's kind of a completed fuselage right there. And I started working on the camera system. It's a Mobius, and uh, I've got a pan and tilt camera system for that, which is working pretty good. In this photograph, I've added the uh, OSD feed camera, which has subsequently been changed out for another one, but uh, works pretty good. Here's a shot of the completed upper of the uh, plane. You can see the uh, camera system in place. UHF transmitter with a uh, skew planar antenna. There's a shot of the uh, bottom of the aircraft that's completed. So All we need to do now is find some time to fly this thing and test it. Quite enjoyed the build, to be honest. Um, I'm just looking forward to getting the grips with it. Thanks for dropping by. If you like the video, thumbs up as usual and uh, subscribe. And I uh, will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.